evening to you all. My name is Reverend Douglas Melchizedek, and I'm here to present to you or to educate you a little bit about who a prophet is. So we'll be here to learn a little bit about that, and I believe that you'll be educated as you listen. God bless you. Mm -hmm. Allow God to speak to you and let the true prophet of God confirm what God has already told you. Let me, let me, let me explain. Mm. You see, let me take you back in the Garden of Eden. Adam and Eve. The Bible says that in the day that you eat of the fruit, you are going to die. The death was in three dimensions. It was spiritual death, physical death, eternal death. So when they ate the fruit, the first death took place. They couldn't hear God again. That is, man did not hear God again. So his spirit was dead. So we as human beings, we inherited that dead spirit. But when the second Adam came, who was Jesus Christ, when he died, the Bible says that the curtains the were torn. The veils were torn. And the spirit of God moved mm -hmm. out of it. And when you declare that Jesus Christ, I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior, the moment that, thing, that, that declaration takes place, your death spirit now becomes alive. But you need to feed it to grow it, to mature it, to be able to hear God for yourself. Then leave the prophet to confirm what God has already told you. You want to hear things and, and so we will lie. Huh? <laughs> yes. Yes. Why? Yes. Because now that is, that is it. Tell me something. Tell me something so we'll find something to tell you. Mm. Yes. If you go somewhere and you say, oh, repent, the kingdom of God is... You see two people. But if you see, I see the Lord. I see a red dragon. Huh? You see 500 people. I see a certain crocodile. And the crocodile is painted yellow and blue. And the Spirit of God is telling me that, give me $500,000 for me to do something for you. You will do it. Really? I'm telling you. So now... That is the norm now. We will lie. When we are preaching about repentance, we are talking about hell, that Jesus is coming. You don't want to hear. But is Jesus coming? Is you Jesus coming? Where is Jesus? That's another lie. That's why the people want to. I'm a term in one. When you tell them lie, they want to hear everything and change their mind. <laughs> is Jesus coming? Where is he coming from? 